Assalamualaikum and welcome to another episode of uh, Zilfi TV um, Today is going to be another vlog And uh, it's going to be about how crazy I get sometimes um, Whenever I spend money for the company Now for today What I'm going to share with you is um, The fact that I just bought a desktop <laughs> And this desktop is primarily for me to do this 4K video editing Now let me just get, uh, let me just tell you why it's crazy. First of all, um, as you guys know, uh, I started off on YouTube uh, with some some videos about uh, our SVR platform and maybe some vlogs where I went to Singapore for an event. So those were done actually by uh, my ex staff, right? So at that time, I didn't know how to do a lot of uh, video editing. I mean, I had some knowledge, but uh, I haven't been doing it for like for like five, 10 years or something like that. And uh, once, once that guy left, I wanted to continue with the YouTube channel. And that's when I started to do a lot more of the video, sorry, a lot more of the product reviews. And then it became vlogs and, and whatnot. So, as you all know, lately, um, I recently bought the GoPro Hero 10 Black, which has 4K. Initially, when I was doing the uh, the videos when my when my ex was still here, uh, we bought the Canon M50, which is um, a full HD camera and it has a 4K functionality, but it's like cropped in um, so so much that it doesn't look good. Plus. Um, you know, at that time, I felt that why do you need 4K for YouTube, right? Uh, it doesn't make any sense. And I was quite happy with with the full HD uh, at until until uh, I bought this GoPro. Um, so that's the backstory of all this. And I felt that once I used the 4K, number one, my laptop couldn't handle the files anymore. Like it's it takes so long just to generate the uh, proxy files to edit the video. Um, rendering also takes so long because I just learned how to do the setting for for importing uh, uh, the videos right so it takes so long with the laptop that I have so then I felt that there's a necessity for me to buy a desktop now I didn't know how much it would cost I thought a desktop cost about a thousand bucks right so that was the budget that I had in mind so obviously I, I I didn't want to do to do this by myself because I consider myself as a computer illiterate. I just don't understand all this CPU processors, graphic cards, uh, RAMs, and whatnot, and how they they go together. You know, so obviously you have two options: either you build your own rig or you buy something off the shelf, right? So I asked a friend of mine to look into this and to see how much budget I need. So I gave him a rough figure of about um, four to four to five thousand ringgit. And immediately he said, that's not enough. And I'm like, okay, we can up it by probably another thousand ringgit. So that's about $1,200, okay, uh, roughly about that. So he went and did some research for me. He found out the specs that uh, is required to do 4K editing in Premiere Pro. And uh, But he's a busy guy. And uh, I wanted this uh, desktop uh, like yesterday. So today, I actually went to the computer shop by myself. Uh, obviously with some of his guidance in terms of what I need to get and whatnot, right? So uh, I went to this shop um, But he's he doesn't seem to want my business for some reason. So the first first uh, Number one I asked him can I get a quotation? He said no, he's just gonna verbalize it which I which I found really funny right because I probably want to get the, the desktop and he just, he just doesn't want to give me any quotation. He's just rambling off. It's like, okay, this thing costs 3000 This thing costs this much, this much, this much. But... And then he gave me one figure, which I thought was ridiculous. Because he quoted me like 13 k not USD. So that's about, um, I would say, $3,000. And I thought, it cannot be that expensive. That's not, that's not even with the monitor. So uh, I said, is that the minimum spec? to do 4k video editing he said yes and i'm like okay goodbye thank you so much so i left and uh, i went downstairs and then i spoke to i went to another shop and then i asked asked them about 
you know what I need uh, I told them about what I need and then they were patient enough with me to go through all the specs and uh, it was there was a lot of back and forth uh, between him and and me uh, about finalizing the, uh, the, the the specs that I want um, obviously I wanted bare minimum was to follow uh, Adobe's um, guideline in terms of okay editing with Premiere Pro so that's what we did and uh, so we after much discussion and going back and forth uh, obviously I need to ask the real director of Zilfit right uh, if you don't know who that is that's my wife so I called her up and then we spoke on the phone uh, for quite a bit Try, I'm trying to justify to her the purchase and uh, She's like, no, you don't need it. You just need a simple uh, desktop, you know, that can do uh, better than your laptop. But, you know, but I'm not that kind of guy. And this is where the craziness comes in because this desktop is actually quite a bit above the, the initial budget. Um, and uh, so I was just walking around the, the computer shops and uh, just trying to think about, okay, should I just invest in this? Now, I believe in this YouTube channel right I believe that I'm doing something good which is the, the main intention of doing this YouTube channel obviously monetizing it would be a secondary um, uh, secondary goal but for me it's just to spread goodness that's the, the, the main um, goal that I have with this channel right so for example um, based on some of your comments you guys actually said to me that because of my video, you've managed to make a decision whether to buy or not, to buy Aleco or not. That's a different story. But you've managed to come to a decision, and uh, if you if you buy, buy bought Aleco, then Alhamdulillah is very good. Even though I would have preferred that most of you are from Malaysia and you you buy those equipment from me, but that's okay because at least Aleco benefits, and for me, that's like doing something good you know I'm not expecting anything in return I just love doing all this video stuff I love doing the editing right I'm not good at it but as you can see in my vlogs I hope to progress you know uh, uh, as I go along even speaking to a camera I mean I think a lot of people cannot speak to a camera because they find it a bit awkward uh, I know this because sometimes when when, when I did uh, the uh, podcast, I had a camera on as well, and uh, some people they just couldn't speak, although they are articulate by themselves. But once you put a camera on, uh, it's difficult for them to you know to to speak because they they feel a bit awkward, they feel a bit embarrassed or something. Like that. I don't know why, right? But now I'm also improving myself in terms of how I speak on camera. I'm not that good yet. I, I don't think I'll be any better because my uh, language is not my my forte you know but yeah i i love doing this kind of stuff and i love uh you know uh, interacting with you guys in the comment section and i hope to do more and more so i feel that if i invest some money invest some money in all this equipment that i'll enjoy the process even more and that you guys can benefit it's just like buying Eleco, to be honest because it's how it makes you feel it's how Eleco makes you feel right when you are lifting and that's not something that you get with other brands it may if you are a fan of uh, those brands and you feel that you know um, those brands give you some form motivation for you to uh, lift weights or to perform day in and day out right but that's the kind of feeling that, I'm, uh, that I get when I make all these crazy decisions because if I don't do it if I don't do things, uh, certain things that I feel um, is necessary but might not seem so by to outsiders, I, I I feel that I might regret it in the future, and I don't want to, and I don't want that. I rather go through it. If I make a mistake, I make a mistake. That's it. I learn from it and I move on. Okay. So anyway, uh, I'm going to pick up the desktop now. Uh, everything has been installed and I need to check the specs everything is uh, in order we're going to bring it home and hook it up and then install the uh, Premiere and start doing some editing so let's go that's the place that I bought the computer from and uh, we just picked it up uh, just now and uh, that's the monitor and that's the CPU and now I'm getting I'm, I'm heading straight home to install them and then uh, start using it inshallah so I've decided to put the um, desktop in my bedroom because there's no other space in my house. 
I'm not going to put it in the warehouse because I think this thing is just too expensive to just leave it there and um, I think uh, the way that I envision myself working with um, with this is that uh, I, I'm gonna use this as the main um, desktop for doing all this editing and then I can simply just transfer some of the files and work remotely uh, using my laptop whenever I'm at the warehouse I think that should work well enough um, so the thing that I have to figure out after this is, after I uh, hook this thing up is that number one um, installing the uh, Premiere um, because um, I bought the license for the Premiere uh, and that's saying something uh, because most of the people they just download use, they just use the pirate version um, but no. for me for me I think you know since I'm, I'm running a business all this can be expensed so not to worry about that and then uh, obviously after that I need to probably do I need to probably go into YouTube and find out how to work remotely when um, work remotely with uh, Premiere Pro when the main files are uh, in the desktop so those are the th two things that I need to uh, figure out I think once it's done we're gonna settle on a workflow and we'll see where that takes us okay so I managed to uh, eventually switch it on um, the reason the monitor was not coming up is because apparently I was supposed to connect the display cable uh, in the graphic card, graphic card, uh, graphic graphic cards slot, because there are two graph, there are two display port uh, on the CPU, right? So, <laughs> and uh, remember when I said that I am a computer literate? <laughs> so <laughs> this is this is the proof, you know. So I hooked it up on the top. Which I don't know where that, that goes into, you know. Uh, I, so I called the guys from the guys that sold this to me, and then they said, No, I should connect it to the graphic cards port. So, okay. So then I just hooked it up, and then everything came out. So, Alhamdulillah. In any case, um, that's the whole setup. That's the uh, what do you call this, this thing? Is it, is it a CPU? right the tower whatever so um, I'm just gonna show you the the specs that I got um, provided that I can find where to <laughs> provided that I can find the uh, where it is um, but just give me a sec uh, let me just figure this out and then uh, I, will, I will show you okay here we go um, what we have here is the the CPU maybe I should yeah I don't know if you guys can see this okay the CPU is 11th generation Intel i7 memory I have 48 gigs um, the SSD this came with the um, <laughs> with this thing what do you call this thing CPU or something right so that came with the 512 um, memory uh, and then uh, sorry uh, storage uh, SSD NVMe NVMe I think it's, it's called and then I added one gig so this is where I'm gonna put all my video files and then um, the GPU is NVIDIA GeForce RTX 3060 all right so here is my initial thoughts on the new desktop uh, Alhamdulillah, I think overall uh, it's okay. Uh, in fact, it's not just okay. It's it's really really good, and it has solved uh, my problem with the the laptop that I have. Uh, it's super fast. I mean, it still can edit uh, in 4K uh, without me using a proxy. Um, so basically, a proxy is uh, a dumb down file of the original file, so that you edit on that proxy. 
so that you don't use a lot of um, uh, resources from from the from the PC. So, but even in 4K, um, I don't have to use the, the the proxy, and it can still edit just fine. The other thing that I notice, and this this always happens to me <laughs> because of my impulsive decision when I, whenever I buy something this expensive. Um, number one, with a big screen, it seems to me that you can see a lot more details, right? Obviously, because with my laptop, I think it's about what 12 inches or 13 inches, if I'm not mistaken. So, and the, the screen is quite small. When you edit, there's a there's a window, right? So the window where you can view the the video is is quite small. So there's not a lot you can see. But with this, uh, look at the size. I mean, like you know, it's quite huge. And uh, what I noticed is that uh, the GoPro is not that good in low light. Uh, there's a lot of noise in the video, and uh, I felt like I. Uh, I need a new camera. <laughs> uh, well, I, I am planning to buy uh, a dedicated 4K camcorder. Um, I'm not too sure when I'm going to get it, but I think it's going to be useful. The GoPro has its purpose. Um, obviously, it's easy to use, like I've mentioned before. And uh, even with this video, I'm just holding it up using the um, the, the, the three-in-one stick. Um, another thing that I noticed is that when I was hooking this thing up, um, I thought that the monitor comes with speakers, built-in speakers. So when I was uh, trying to um, view a, a YouTube video, <laughs> no sound came out. So I called the salesperson and said, "Hey, does this monitor come with a with a built-in speakers?" And he said, "No." So okay. So then I had to use my um, uh, what do you call these headphones. Uh, which I don't like using because it gets too hot and gets sweaty around the ears. Um, but it, what that means is just I need to get my I need to bring home the speakers. But as you can see, the table that I have in in my bedroom here is not big enough to, for me to put the speakers. So I think for now I'm not I'm not going to spend any more in, uh, in terms of speakers. But I, I guess I have to make do with the headphones uh, first. Um, and get used to the new workflow not too sure if there's anything else i'll, I'll probably discover more uh, as and when i use it uh, more but for now I'm, I'm really happy with the purchase um, like in the video that you, you see here i just finished editing it already and it was really fast i mean like so fast right now i just want to see how fast it renders uh, and then we have to upload to YouTube and see how fast that, that goes. Probably there's no difference in, in terms of uploading to YouTube. Not too sure, but you know, uh, we'll, we'll find out. Okay, uh, I think that's it for this particular vlog. Um, I know it's been uh, long-winded. I know I'm crazy, but I feel that this is necessary somehow. And uh, regardless, um, I have no excuses left. I think after this I really really need to put in more content so it's worthwhile for you to if you if you're new to this particular channel just click that subscribe button and turn on the notification um, I have to I have to produce more content that's that's it I think that's the game I think and then uh, we'll, we'll see uh, where we go from there okay so thanks again for watching guys and I'll see you in the next ZFIT TV episode bye